a Wikivide Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Bharat Ratna The Bharat Ratna is the highest civilian award of the Republic of India. Instituted in 1954, the award is conferred in recognition of exceptional service slash performance of the highest order, without distinction of race, occupation, position, or sex. The award was originally limited to achievements in the arts, literature, science, and public services, but the government expanded the criteria to include any field of human endeavor in December 2011. The recommendations for the Bharat Ratna are made by the Prime Minister to the President, with a maximum of three nominees being awarded per year. Recipients receive a Sanad signed by the President and a people leaf shaped medallion. There is no monetary grant associated with the award. Bharat Ratna recipients rank seventh in the Indian order of precedence. The first recipients of the Bharat Ratna were politician C. Raja Gopalashari, philosopher Sav Pali Radha Krishnan, and scientist C. V. Raman, who were honored in 1954. Since then, the award has been bestowed upon 45 individuals, including 12 who were awarded posthumously. The original statutes did not provide for posthumous awards, but were amended in January 1955 to permit them. Former Prime Minister Lal Bahadur Shastri became the first individual to be honored posthumously. In 2014, cricketer Sachin Tendulkar, then aged 40, became the youngest recipient, while social reformer Dondo Keshav Kave was awarded on his 100th birthday. Though usually conferred on India-born citizens, the Bharat Ratna has been awarded to one naturalized citizen, Mother Teresa, and to two non-Indians, Pakistan national Khan Abdul Ghaffar Khan, and former South African President Nelson Mandela. On 24 December 2014, the Indian government announced the award to independence activist Madan Mohan Malavia and former Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee. The Bharat Ratna, along with other personal civil honors, was briefly suspended from July 1977 to January 1980 during the change in the national government, and for a second time from August 1992 to December 1995, when several public interest litigations challenged the constitutional validity of the awards. In 1992, the government's decision to confer the award posthumously on Subhas Chandra Bose was opposed by those who had refused to accept the fact of his death, including some members of his extended family. Following a 1997 Supreme Court decision, the press communique announcing Bose's award was cancelled. It is the only time when the award was announced but not conferred. Several bestowals of the award have met with criticism. The posthumous award for M. G. Ramachandran was considered to have been named, advocating the voters for the upcoming assembly election and posthumous awards of Madan Mohan Malavia enveloped by Patel drew criticism, for they died before the award was instituted. History on 2 January 1954, a press communique was released from the office of the secretary to the president announcing the creation of two civilian awards, Bharat Ratna, the highest civilian award, and the three-tier Padma Vibhushan, classified into Pahilawag, Dusra Wag, and Tisra Wag, which rank below the Bharat Ratna. On 15 January 1955, the Padma Vibhushan was reclassified into three different awards. The Padma Vibhushan, the highest of the three, followed by the Padma Bhushan, and the Padma Shri. There is no formal provision that recipients of the Bharat Ratna should be Indian citizens. It has been awarded to a naturalized Indian citizen, Mother Teresa in 1980, and to two non-Indians, Khan Abdul Ghaffar Khan of Pakistan in 1987, and the former South African President Nelson Mandela in 1990, Sachin Tendulkar, at the age of 40 became the youngest person and first athlete to receive the honor. In a special ceremony on 18 April 1958, Dondo Geshav Kave was awarded on his 100th birthday. As of 2015, the award has been conferred upon 45 people with 12 posthumous declarations. The award was briefly suspended twice in its history. The first suspension occurred after Moorji Desai was sworn in as the fourth Prime Minister in 1977. His government withdrew all personal civil honours on 13 July 1977. The suspension was rescinded on 25 January 1980. 
after Indira Gandhi became the Prime Minister. The civilian awards were suspended again in mid-1992, when two public interest litigations were filed, one in the Kerala High Court and another in the Madhya Pradesh High Court, challenging the constitutional validity of the awards. The awards were introduced by the Supreme Court in December 1995, following the conclusion of the litigation. Regulations The Bharat Ratna is conferred, in recognition of exceptional service slash performance of the highest order, without distinction of race, occupation, position, or sex. The award was originally confined to the arts, literature, science, and public services. As per the 1954 regulations, in December 2011, the rules were changed to include any field of human endeavor. The 1954 statutes did not allow posthumous awards, but this was subsequently modified in the January 1955 statute, and Lal Bahadur Shastri became the first recipient to be honored posthumously in 1966. Although there is no formal nomination process, recommendations for the award can only be made by the Prime Minister to the President with a maximum number of three nominees being awarded per year. However, in 1999, four individuals were awarded the honor. The recipient receives a standard signed by the President and a medallion without any monetary grant. Under the terms of Article 18 of the Constitution, the recipients cannot use the award as a prefix or suffix to their name although recipients may use either the expressions awarded Bharat Ratna by the President or recipient of Bharat Ratna Award to indicate that they have been honored with the award. The holders of the Bharat Ratna rank seventh in the Indian order of precedence. As with many official announcements, recipients are announced and registered in the Gazette of India, a publication released by the Department of Publication, Ministry of Urban Development used for official government notices without publication in the Gazette. Conferral of the award is not considered official. Recipients whose awards have been revoked or restored, both of which require the authority of the President, are registered in the Gazette. Recipients whose awards have been revoked are required to surrender their medals, and their names are struck from the register. Specifications the original 1954 specifications of the award was a circle made of gold 1 plus 3 eighths inch in diameter with a centered sunburst design on the obverse side. The text, Bharat Ratna, in Devanagari script, is inscribed on the upper edge in silver gilt with a wreath set along on the lower edge. A platinum state emblem of India was placed in the center of the reverse side with the national motto, Satyam Eva Jayate, in Devanagari script, inscribed in silver gilt on the lower edge. A year later, the design was modified. The current medal is in the shape of a people leaf. Approximately 2 plus 5 sixteenths inch long, 1 plus 7 eighths inch wide and 1 eighth inch thick and rimmed in platinum. The embossed sunburst design, made of platinum. On the obverse side of the medal has a diameter of 5 eighths inch with rays spreading out from 5 sixths inch to half inch from the center of the sun. The words, Bharat Ratna. On the obverse side remained the same as the 1954 design as did the emblem of India and Satyam Eva Jayate. On the reverse side, a two-in white ribbon is attached to the medal so it can be worn around the neck. In 1957, the silver gilt decoration was changed to burnished bronze. The Bharat Ratna medals are produced at Alipur Mint, Kolkata along with the other civilian and military awards like Padma Vibhushan, Padma Bhushan, Padma Shri, and Param Vir Chakra. Controversies The Bharat Ratna has been surrounded by several controversies, and multiple public interest litigations had been filed against the conferral of the award. On 23 January 1992, a press release was published by the President's Secretariat to confer the award posthumously on Subhash Chandra Bose. The decision triggered much criticism, and appeal was filed in the Calcutta High Court to revoke the award. The petitioner took objection to the conferral of the award and its posthumous mention of Bose, saying that honoring a personality higher than the award is ridiculous, and it was an act of carelessness to classify such a person with past and future recipients. It said that the award cannot be conferred to Bose posthumously as the government had not officially accepted his death on 18 August 1945. The petitioner requested the whereabouts of Bose from the 18th of August 1945 till date, 
Based on the information collected by the 1956 Shah Nawaz Committee and the 1970 Korsler Commission, Bose's family members expressed their unwillingness to accept the award. To deliver the judgment, the Supreme Court formed a special division bench with Judge Sujata V. Manohar and G. B. Patanaik. The Solicitor General noted that to confer the award per the appropriate regulations pertaining to the Bharat Ratna, Padma Vibhushan, Padma Bhushan, and Padma Shri, the name of the recipient must be published in the Gazette of India, and entered in the recipient's register maintained under the direction of the President. It was noted that only an announcement had been made by press communique, but the government had not proceeded to confer the award by publishing the name in the Gazette, and entering the name in the register. Furthermore, the then presidents, of Venkataraman and the Shankar Dale Sharma, had not conferred a Senate with their signature and seal. On 4 August 1997, the Supreme Court delivered an order that since the award had not been officially conferred, it cannot be revoked and declared that the press communique be treated as cancelled. The court declined to pass any judgment on the posthumous mention of Bose and his death. In 1992, two pills were filed in the High Courts, one in the Kerala High Court on 13 February 1992 by Balaji Raghawan and another in the Madhya Pradesh High Court on 24 August 1992 by Satya Balan and both petitioners questioned the civilian awards being titles, per an interpretation of Article 18 of the Constitution on 25 August 1992. The Madhya Pradesh High Court issued a notice temporarily suspending all civilian awards. A special division bench of the Supreme Court was formed comprising five judges. A. M. Ahmad E. C. J. Kuldeep Singh, B. P. G. Van Reddy, N. P. Singh, and S. Sigur Ahmad. On 15 December 1995, the special division bench restored the awards and delivered a judgment that the Bharat Ratna and Padma awards are not titles under Article 18 of the Constitution. Following the announcement, in November 2013, that C. N. R. Rao and Sachin Tandilkar were to be awarded the Bharat Ratna, multiple pills were filed challenging the conferring of the award. The pill filed against Rao declared that other Indian scientists, such as Homi Bhabha and Vikram Sarabhai, had contributed more than Rao, and his claim of publishing 1,400 research papers was physically impossible. The suit stated that as Rao had proven cases of plagiarism, he should not be presented with the award, but rather should be annulled. The pill filed against Tendulkar to the Election Commission under the Right to Information Act indicated that the awarding him the Bharat Ratna was a violation of the Model Code of Conduct. The petitioner noted that as Tendulkar was an Indian National Congress nominated member of Rajya Sabha, the decision to award him the Bharat Ratna would influence the voters of Delhi, Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, and Mizoram, where the election process was underway at the time. Another pill was filed against Tendulkar and a few ministers, alleging a conspiracy to ignore an Indian field hockey player Dhyan Chand. On 4 December 2013, the Election Commission rejected the petition stating that conferring the award on people from non-polling states did not amount to a violation of the code. Other high courts as well rejected the petitions raised against Rao and Tendulkar. Brought to you by Wikividi Documentaries Would you like to know more?